Okay, a couple of the problems in <clears throat> the project require you to be able to zoom into a MATLAB graph to see what's going on in more detail. I'm actually looking at here um, part of, of one of the problems on the project, problem three, where I'm looking at the original X of T and I'm looking at the output X out um, after multiplying. And so what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna zoom in on this. So I can see this guy goes on for about 17 seconds or so. So this goes on for a while. So what I wanna do is I wanna zoom in on the graph. And there's a lot of data in here. This is maybe not the best example, but one of the things that I wanted to do is show you how to zoom on it. So what I do is I hover over the graph. All right, so I'm gonna put my mouse cursor and hover over the graph. And I see that what appears in the upper right corner, there is a bunch of uh, little icons. I see a zoom icon, I see a hand, I see a zoom out icon. So I'm gonna choose the zoom magnifying glass. It's gonna allow me to zoom in. So notice my mouse cursor um, essentially became a plus sign and I'm gonna zoom in. So what I'm doing is I'm holding down the, the left mouse button and I drag it while holding the left mouse button. So I'm holding the left mouse button down and I'm dragging it. Now, because there's so much data in the graph, this is gonna be a little bit slow in problem three. All right, so I've, I've, once I've created the area I want, I let go of the mouse button and see, I haven't zoomed in that much. There's a ton of data here. So let me kind of keep zooming in a little bit, okay. So holding down the left mouse button and basically drawing these rectangles lets me zoom in on an area. And I keep zooming in here until I can really see, I know there should be cosines in here. So I keep going down and then I can see those cosines. So keep zooming in. And finally I'll be at a point where I can see those cosines. There we go. All right. So there I'm finally at a point where I can see the cosine. So problem three, it asks you to zoom in and try to see the relationship between the frequencies. Looking at what you're looking at right there, you should be able to tell what the frequency relationships are between the blue and the red. All right. It should be pretty obvious to you what the frequency relationship is there, and it should relate to your, your answers in the previous parts of the problem. If I wanted to be able to read data off of the graph, because you're also asked to do that, the other option I have here while I'm hovering over the graph is I see I have this box here, which is called a data tip, all right? So the data tip, if I click on that guy and I hover over a point on the graph like this and then left click once, again, because there's so much data, it's gonna take it a second but it's gonna appear. What I'm gonna have appear is a box, there we go. So what this says is at the X coordinate and the Y coordinate of that point. So it basically says at 11.05, my value is 0.1457. Now notice because of the, of the values here, that's not quite 11.05. There's ways to get a little bit more detailed on what that time is, but I see clearly it looks like that peak value would appear to be about 0.1457. All right, so that's the data tip. Um, if I wanna get rid of that thing, I can right click on it and I can say delete all data tips, all right? Um, and if I wanna go back to, to my regular mouse, I can do this, all right? And I can change things. If I wanna zoom back out to the full waveform, I go to the plus uh, zoom and I'm gonna right click here and then go to restore view. And it'll take it a second, but it'll show me back to the original signal again. All right, so that should help for, for a couple of the problems uh, on the assignment where you got you to zoom in and you got to pull values off the graph.